Bloomington Banquet is the uh, the art centerpiece for the 3.1 mile linear park that is the Beeline Trail, something that visitors and residents alike will uh, look at and convene around for years. It's a community gathering space, it's a celebration of our community character, and it's yet another symbol of what sets us apart from being everywhere else. Uh, Bloomington's strength, emotionally, philosophically, economically, is our uniqueness. We come around the table to debate, to disagree, and to discuss the issues, uh, our lives, and, and ourselves. Uh, it's always dangerous to interpret an artist's intent, but for me, that strength of gathering as a community, just like the limestone base here, is the foundation of Bloomington, Indiana. This substantial work, crafted from local limestone, is great art to be enjoyed by all in the Bloomington Commons. It anchors the place where people will continue to gather to attend forums in City Hall, commune with neighbors, and buy locally grown food at the farmer's market, exercise, and relax along the Beeline Trail. Today, with the dedication of Bloomington Banquet, we celebrate the beginnings of the colors, textures, and the substance that is yet to come in this remarkable Bloomington Commons. What draws us out of our isolation and away from our healthy individualism brings us together in the spirit of community. Enjoying public art in the commons, we share all that we have in common as caring friends, good neighbors, and human beings. In Bloomington, we value and invest in the arts. The reality is that it takes a community of like-minded people such as you to create a 75,000 pound table and chairs. It is my hope in some small way that this sculpture may speak to others about our community and the nourishment and sustenance that is offered here in Bloomington. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you that make this community what it is. Thank you. This happens in Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, you know, that's why I live here. It's just, it's a cultural oasis. And so I'm really fortunate to be part of it.